Housing shortages continue to impact the state of Missouri. Towards the end of last year, the number of homes listed decreased every month and prices kept going up. Yeah, and according to an end of the year report by Missouri Realtors, homes sold this past December saw an average price jump of over 30% compared to homes purchased in December of 2019. KSHB 41 reporter Danielle Leone is here to tell us how these shortages are leading some developers to think outside the box and look at new ways to build homes right here in Kansas City. Good morning, Daniela. Good morning, Deja and Taylor. Yes, the housing market is also being impacted by supply constraints, causing prices for lumber and concrete to go up. I spoke with the CEO of Missouri Realtors. He said this is causing buildings to be repurposed into residential units, and Kansas City has become a top market for this. America is short of homes, five and a half million to be exact, the National Association of Realtors reports. Builders didn't build for a number of years to the level that they needed to build to keep up with demand. The organization Missouri Realtors says the pandemic is having a ripple effect on the market. More people are working from home and are less likely to put their homes up for sale. Low supply and high demand is also causing prices to soar. And unless those prices level out, Missouri Realtors expects this trend will likely continue into 2022. There is no silver bullet, but that the public sector and the private sector have to work together to come up with solutions. And we are seeing that in Kansas City. Missouri is part of the select number of states that offer historic tax credits. There are tax incentives given to developers by the government to reuse and remodel historic properties. Applications for the 2022 fiscal year closed last month, and there are already applications in line that access the $90 million statewide cap for the year. It's neat to see something right in the heart of a community um, in an urban area come back to life. Sunflower Development Group is based in KC and has benefited from historic tax credits. They redeveloped the grant after it was left half vacant in 2016. The building is now home to more than 200 units. The Argyle Building in the heart of the Power and Light District built in 1906 is now home to more than 110 units. The Blenheim School was put up for sale by Kansas City Public Schools in 2009. It now houses more than 50 affordable senior units. It will then free up the other real estate that someone is looking for. Their costs are lower and fewer resources are used during construction. No historic tax credits were used in their latest project, Converge KC, but they turned available retail space into residential space. The building was completed last year. More than half of their units are already leased, with phase two coming that would add nearly 100 additional units to the building. With COVID and all the things associated with that, that, that we're seeing a little bit of a, um, you know, migration from from office to to residential and the sunflower development group also said some of the people they're leasing to are empty nesters who want to downsize and have access to shops and businesses which helps free up additional homes deja and taylor so daniela it's interesting but don't historic tax credits benefit the developers there what's that relationship like well it's not a tax deduction this also opens up the doors for economic growth within the community and here's why Typically, structures like a old school that were never on the tax roll to begin with will be now on the tax roll and will be taxable from a property tax perspective. Uh, and a lot of times, a vacant building that has been remodeled or rehabbed will, in fact, increase the taxable base and increase the property value, which then will increase the state and local tax revenue. And property taxes, depending on the building, can also increase as well. Coming up at 6, I have some tips on what home buyers can do if they still have their sights set on a home. Deja.